is a wild place. Yeah. And I remember seeing um, just the words Top Boy and Drake. And I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I was so confused. Was there any question in your head of like, maybe this isn't a good move. Maybe we're going to have to explain what this is to people. I, I think there was definitely scepticism. Mm hmm. I was a bit sceptical before okay. the Drake thing. Yeah. Between the years of the last one, you know, up until before starting shooting this one, there was always talk of like Top Boy in America and Top Boy Chicago, but with the characters going like, I don't know, it was just a lot of noise and <laughs> yeah. not didn't necessarily believe any of it, but that's just what was out there on the internet. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, oh, whatever, you lot don't know what you're talking about. This show I know the show's never happening again, like, because I know from the producers. So when they called and was like, I want to have a conversation about Top Boy, I'm thinking, don't tell me what I've been hearing is. It's true. <laughs> if there's, any, if there's any truth to it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then they was like, no, like, Drake's called. And I was like, okay, cool. Going to hear this out. But once it was explained to me what happened, it kind of made sense, but I don't think it had been explained to people. To people. So, right. so Drake's really come in and he's just like, literally, I'm a fan of the show. W what's happened with it? Can it come back? Mm -hmm. is, is Does Channel 4 own it? Or is that why? Or whatever. Is it up for discussion? And if it is, I would love to do whatever I can do right. to help um, bring it back led to well that was a meeting with Ronan the writer okay. who's also a producer and Ali and Charles Cowboy and they had that meeting then Drake um, introduces them to Netflix and apparently there was like a meeting that took place where I think Drake basically controlled the whole meeting then Skype and whatever mm. and just spoke about the show passionately and was just like this is what this show m means um, obviously what means to England mm -hmm. but this is what it meant to me also mm -hmm. so I know that it's not this can translate right. without changing right. so he was quite integral in in acquiring that deal after that me him and Ashley sat down and whatever and I've come in and I've being me I'm like yo <laughs> I've just said look I just want to like voice my opinion and, and just that I don't want to be a part of a show that isn't made with the same integrity that it was before, right. made in the same way, with right. the same people, trying to appeal to a wider audience and all of that. No, I think we make the show exactly how it was. And I think that permeates. That realness and that trueness, you know, is contagious. Mm -hmm. Like people watching the show and being like, you know, you know, that's how we was with The Wire and, and yeah. whatever. It has yeah. to feel real to that place or we're not buying into mm -hmm. it. I'm like, that's the way it has to get made. And he was like, I fully understand you. That's the way I see it and whatever. And that was done. From then, I knew it was just all all real. It was good to go, yeah. So, but when his name's just out there, um, people assume that, you know, like he's, you know, on set or doing this or mm -hmm. telling things or making cameos and whatever. And it, and it was never about that. And, and, and he's like, look, if you need me, I'm here. If you don't, cool. Mm -hmm. Just make the show. I'm a fan of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Done. Once the show's made, then maybe I could help spread the word a bit to a few more people and right. whatever. So it's just about that. You know what I mean? So I understand why you probably was a little bit, oh, what's going on here? Because yeah. <laughs> I was a bit the same. Yeah. After meeting the guy, it's like a, it's a real thing. And, and that probably adds to a wider conversation of Drake and culture, right. this and right. whatever, and, and all of that stuff. But I just see it as he's, he's just a fan of of what we do over right. here, you know? And, and and for years, we've been a fan of like, I know he's not American, but we've been a fan of like American music and whatever and and kind of at times throughout British hip hop, like lost our own identity yes. and tried to be American, mm -hmm. you know? And then we came along with, you know, your bro and Wiley and me and, did, and whatever. And it was so like, so British, you know? And... But it was like, we wasn't really getting the shine on the radio. And it was like, oh, no one takes note of what we're doing mm -hmm. and whatever. So at a point like now, when people are taking note of what we're doing, why should we have why something? Turn them away? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Why should we have something bad to say about yeah. it? You know what I mean? So I, I see it as a thing. It's, it's, a, it's a bit silly. You yeah. know what I mean? I you. And he's a cool brother. And yeah. And I, and, I, and I hope that when people see the show, they will understand that, you know, it's made with the same integrity. Absolutely. You know what I mean?